New developments tonight. David Kayyem arrested again today at Central Connecticut State University for trespassing. This after police say he was the student in a Halloween costume who sent the school into lockdown mode as dozens of police officers rushed to the campus yesterday. News 8's Stephanie Simone was back on the campus today talking to students about the police reaction to that crisis. Stephanie. Yeah, Keith Ann Kayyem was not supposed to return to school today, but the school spokesperson says he was caught returning to James Hall. It's unclear why. But today we're also getting a firsthand look at what caused students to call 911. Surveillance video shows you what students saw on the Central Connecticut State University campus. A man in a ski mask in a vest with what folks thought were weapons. I looked outside and people were just running in all directions. There was officers directing people where to go. After three hours of a school lockdown, police say 21-year-old David Kayyem was not a real threat. The gun was fake. His father says he was returning back from a Halloween party. He's a real nice guy, yeah. I went to the gym with him. He's very much into fitness. And so it was just a relief to know that, all right, um, it was a bad decision on his part to dress like a ninja with a sword. But campus security treated it as a threat. They called in for backup. State police brought in two tactical teams and the helicopter. It's got to be handled uh, with kid gloves. In other words, the response has to be accurate. The response has to be immediate. All while the school continued to update students who were on edge. We got calls on our cell phone like to stay in the building, to not to not leave at all. And it was I think they did a really good job. Myself and my sweet mates would get a call uh, from the automatic message uh, messenger system. Um, and then that would be followed by an email with direct um, instructions on what we were supposed to do. The school president said today that one can never be too vigilant and that all threats are taken seriously. He says behavior that causes widespread fear among our students and staff cannot and will not be tolerated. But the campus did a tremendous job letting us know and making sure that we were all in places uh, ruined outside so that we were safe. Kyan was charged with breach of peace. He was let out on a $1,000 bond. The school had counselor sessions on campus today for students who were still trying to process what happened, Keith. Stephanie, from where I sit, it sounds like the uh, students gave pretty high marks to administrators for the way they handled that situation yesterday. Yeah, Keith, they were panicked while it was going on, but they said today they felt differently. They felt like if this had been a real, actual threat, that they would kind of know what to expect if this, if this actually happened. Keith, back to you. All right. Stephanie Simone, thank you.